have you ever been thinking, doing, or saying something only to sort of step back and recognize that whatever you're doing or thinking, you know, or saying is really just repeating the voice of, you know, either your mum or your dad. Is you know, that you have this moment where you think, oh, wow, that's actually what my dad used to tell me to do or, or how my mum told me to think or, or something like that. Have you ever had one of those moments? You know, perhaps it may have even been like a teacher or an employer or, or somebody else entirely, okay? But at one point in time, they told you how to do something, how to think about something or what to say. And, and you've just made a conscious sort of, um, had an epiphany where you've just thought, oh wow, yeah, that's very similar or if not the same as something someone told me. That's, that's the way somebody told me how to do it told me what to say or, or what to do. So it's almost like that person's voice has been stuck inside your head and now you're replaying and repeating, you know, all of those things that those people said. Okay, let's look at another example. Have you ever had something that you're struggling to do, something that you're trying to do, but you're struggling, okay? And someone you look up to, you know, for advice or guidance, someone, you know, an authoritarian figure, has given you criticism. And it's like that criticism has been soaked up and become a part of you. you you've almost been, you know, overwhelmed um, with absorbing that inner voice that just keeps playing over and over again. So now that you feel that you can't do that thing, which has now eventually led to you becoming not confident in that thing and you haven't been able to do that thing or achieve that thing. Likewise, perhaps you were struggling with something, finding it really, really difficult, and someone you look up to has come along and they've actually offered you praise in that situation. You know, which just is a simple sentence or two, but that praise really stuck with you. And it's almost like that voice, after sticking with you, has become, you know, an inner voice of permission which has, you know, really driven you to keep going with that thing and find confidence in doing that thing. So now that list, that thing is on your list of cans.